Friends, good day! I'm making this video on request of subscribers, which is dedicated to the Greeks of the Second Order. Before I start, I would like to bring to your attention the AE Exchange Telegram channel, where we publish important information and news for trading, materials about strategies and new videos. The most famous Second Order Greek is Gamma. I have already made a video about it. I talked about the importance of this parameter and gamma risk. Data about all second order Greeks are available in the option chart window of the AE terminal. If they're not displayed here, you need to right click on any column and add the parameters you need. As you can see, I check the box and new Greeks start to appear. Vana, Charm, Vama, Veta. For the example, I sell 100 pot options out of the money of Strike 35, Bitcoin options. Expiration is in a week and a half. Let's start with the Greek Vana. I'm going to expand the screen so you can see it better. Vana means how much the delta will change if the IV of the options changes by one point. What does that mean in the context of our strategy? We have a positive delta here. And a Vana value of 0.7 means that if IV changes by plus one point, the delta will increase by 0.7. It's already 0.69. If volatility increases by five points, with Vana 0.7, delta will increase by 3.5. Let me repeat again. Vana demonstrates the dependence of delta on volatility. In this strategy, if volatility rises, delta increases. If it falls, delta decreases. If, for example, volatility increases by 10, as Vanna is equal to 0.7, the delta will become 32 instead of 25. This means that the risk of this position will increase. I suggest raising the number of contracts to make our calculations more convenient. Now the delta is 250, and Vana is 0.2. Therefore, if volatility grows by 10 points, delta will rise by 72, and it will become not 250, but 322, which is already a lot. To be honest, I don't often use second-order Greeks, except for Gamma, but knowing and analyzing second-order Greeks is useful and valuable. I, for example, already know that obviously delta will increase as volatility increases. And since delta is a tilt angle, it will lose its tilt as volatility decreases. The next Greek is the Charm Greek. This is an indicator of how much the delta will change in a day. As the expiration date approaches, the delta tends more and more towards zero. In this strategy, Charm is minus 20. So in 24 hours, the delta will fall by 20 points. It will become not 250, but 230. In three days, the delta will be 60 points lower. But if we were working with an in-the-money option, the delta would be negative and would grow positively. The next Greek is Vama. Vama shows how much the Vega will change if the IV changes by one point. In this strategy, if I have a one-point increase in IV, the Vega will decrease by 124. In this strategy, Vama does not play any important role. There is not much time left until expiration and the Vega is big, 20,000. If volatility becomes 70, grows by 10 points, Vega will become minus 21,600. And the final of the second order Greeks for today is Veta. This is an indicator of how much Vega will change in a day. In this strategy, the value of Veta is quite small and indicates a slight negative increase in Vega tomorrow. I think that of all the second order Greeks, Veta is the least interesting. We see now that Veta is half as large as Vama. This means that if IV changes by one point, the result will be the same as if two days had passed. I believe that of all the Greeks we have discussed today, the most important ones are Vanna and Charm. 
because they all say how the delta will change with the change in volatility and the passage of time. It's usually a good idea to watch Charm over the weekend when trading is quiet. This will give you an idea of what the delta will be on Monday. Charm is a specially useful indicator for those exchanges where trading stops on the weekend. Of course, the understanding will be approximate, but you will be able to estimate how much to adjust the delta hedging of your options on Monday. And that's all I wanted to cover today. The AE terminal is available for free and you can view all of these calculations at home whenever and however you want. As a reminder, right click on the column and put a check mark over the desired Greeks. As always, ask questions in the comments. If this video was useful to you, put a like and subscribe to the channel. Suggest your topics for future videos. I wish you good luck and successful options trading.